Today we are going to talk about the best GPU for Apex Legends. Apex Legends are not the most difficult gaming to run, but to achieve the decent performance, you should have a good quality graphic card. Fortunately for you, we have spent the past couple of days scouting out the best deals and best GPU for Apex Legends. And luckily we have come up with the top 5 graphic cards that can handle any task whether you run 1080p at a high setting, 4K games, or intense, rendering these graphic cards won't let you down. Obviously, some will be better than others at certain tasks and that we will discuss in this video. So let's start the video, I'll also leave the links to discussed graphic cards in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. The very first graphic card is GeForce RTX 3070. The RTX 3070 might just be our favorite card of the 30 series cards so far. The value performance proposition is undeniable, with this card offering great competitive performances in most games, meaning that it's perfect for gamers who are not planning on maxing out the latest graphical powerhouse single-player games. For Apex Legends, this might just be the perfect 240Hz card, offering well over those frames at 1080p with the game only dropping below that mark, but never a lot lower than 200 frames per second, for very short stints when the action gets extremely hectic. Combine that with the fact that it performs really well for all of our other analyzed games and is powerful enough to run graphically intensive games at high settings, so you can enjoy your eye candy games every once in a while, and you've got a card that's basically perfect for gamers who focus on Apex Legends but play other games on the side as well. If you play at 1440p 144Hz, this is also a great card to get. Seeing as it will almost never drop below the 144 frames per second mark at that resolution. Next up we have RTX 3080. If budget is not an issue and you want to really go for the best performance, then this RTX 3080 is a great choice. If you're going to be playing at competitive in-game settings, which basically means not maxed out, at 1080p it might even be too much, as it does not perform all that much better than the RTX 3070 at 1920x1080. This card really does shine at higher resolutions however, if you want to play at 1440p 240Hz, then this is the card to get, as it will reliably stay above those frames even at that resolution, with some drops here and there during very hectic scenes, as per usual with these sorts of games. So if you've got a top tier setup, this might be the card for you. Of course it's also going to have no issues running other games at their maximum visual capacity. We definitely wouldn't recommend playing any competitive game at 4K if you're even a little bit competitive-minded because the performance hit just isn't worth it. But if you're a bit more of a casual player, there's no shame in that of course, and you want to make use of your 4K monitor you can rest assured that the RTX 3080 will keep the frame rate above 144 frames per second even at 4K. At number 3 it's RTX 3060. If you've got a budget build or you're planning on making a budget build, then the RTX 3060 can be a great choice. The card will have little to no issues staying above 144 frames per second, even during frame dips it should only go a few frames under the limit, so it won't be very noticeable in Apex Legends at 1080p, making this the ideal card for people who cannot afford a 240HD setup or just don't want to spend that kind of money on a monitor. This is of course the lowest powered GPU in this list, meaning that it won't be perfect for people who value eye candy, be it in the form of higher resolutions or in the form of playing single-player games at high graphical settings. But it's still powerful enough to deliver respectable performances at 1440p, though you will not get a steady 144 frames per second at that resolution. At number 4 it's RTX 3060 Ti graphic card. If you're planning on playing the game on a 240Hz monitor, we would highly recommend the 3070 if you've got the money to spare since it is more reliable in reaching the required frame rates, but if you've got a tight budget and or you don't want to spend more on a GPU because you know you won't need more graphical processing power, then the RTX 3060 T high graphic card is a fantastic choice. It stays around 240 frames per second rather reliably, but once the action really starts to get going it can drop below those frames quite often with dips going into the 170s. That's of course still very respectable, which is why we definitely consider the RTX 3060 Ti as an option for people who want to play at 240 frames per second, but as we said, if you want to have some slightly more table performances, we'd recommend the 3070. 
At number 5 it's XFX Radeon RX 570 RS graphic card. Despite being a relatively low-cost graphics card, the XFX Radeon RX 570 RS has a lot to offer. First of all it's got a base clock of 1168 MHz and a boost clock 1286 MHz which lets you keep the FPS running close to 200 FPS on the 1080p medium mode on Apex Legends. If you bump it up to 1080p Epic, you'll still be able to keep the FPS at around 7 to 5.5 which means no stuttering while you're playing. This graphics card comes with XFX True Clock software which is essentially an overclock optimizer. It directly communicates with your PC hardware so that it can accurately read your graphics card's potential clock speed at any given time. Hence, it makes sure not to overexert your GPU by relying on real-time data. Despite being much cheaper than the RTX 2060, the RX 570 RS has more 2048 shading units. Hence, you're likely to see much more realistic graphics even if they're slightly slower to load. And with that we come to the end of our review. If you ask me which one will be better among these top 5 graphic cards, then I'll say if you have limited budget and cannot spend more than $200 on a GPU, then go with XFX Radeon RX 570 RS at the time making this video, this GPU is available for around $200. This GPU is excellent choice for mid-range PC builds, 1080p gaming, and most importantly can run Apex Legends without any trouble. On the other hand, if you can afford good investment, then of course RTX 3080 and 3070 are the perfect options.